Wait, let me get this straight. This guy literally copied The Great Gatsby to improve his writing? Did it work? Did it work though? Like what is this article telling me? It seems like it's just talking about what Johnny Depp thinks. This guy thinks it works, but he doesn't say if he's tried it. So does it work? This other guy thinks it works, but he's not even a writer. Does anybody know if it works? Okay, but does it work? Does anybody know if it works? Does anybody, does anybody know, know if it know works? It work? it work? <sighs> That's it. The only way to find out if it works is by doing it myself. But first, we need to choose a book. Godfather, no. I like Murderbot's voice. A Storm of Swords, hmm. But if I'm gonna do that one, then why don't I just do the first book? What's going on? I'm John, and yes, you heard me right. I'm going to be copying a Game of Thrones word for word to find out if doing this can actually improve your writing and help you absorb some of the writer's style. So how am I actually going to go about doing this? First, I'm going to be directly copying. I'm going to write word for word with the same exact punctuation. Even if there's italics, I'm going to use those italics. Everything. I'm going to type it out the exact same way. Second, I'm going to do this one hour a day for seven days straight. And after those seven days are complete, if I think it's working, if I think it's actually useful, I may do it for longer than that. That's enough explanation. I'm excited to get started, so let's do it. So the main thing I noticed while doing this exercise is how much it forces you to pay attention to the word choice, punctuation, all the little minute details of what you're writing. Because you're trying to write it out exactly as it appears, you have to pay really close attention. And even if you were reading through and trying to underline and notice certain things, you might not notice all of the details that you do notice by having to type it out. Also, you notice stylistic choices more easily, like how the author refers to thought, whether they give details from their perspective or only details from the character's perspective. For instance, in this passage, George R. R. Martin refers to Bran's age, but Bran wouldn't really tell the reader that. It's really just the author coming in and telling the reader. So you become aware of these stylistic choices really easily. For this reason alone, being able to study really closely the work of a writer that you like, I think this is actually a pretty useful technique. This is only my first day of doing this, so that's my main observation so far from using this technique, but we'll see what other things I notice as time goes on and if there are any effects on my own writing. Okay, so I just finished up the third day of copying A Game of Thrones, and I have some really interesting observations about how this process has been going. First of all, I noticed that this is basically like reading, except for you're doing a very, very close read. When you're normally reading through a story, you're mostly paying attention to the story itself. Yeah, you notice some details, some word choice maybe, or a particular description you like, but you don't really notice all of the details. You're not paying attention to the punctuation especially. You're just not noticing all the minute details that you do notice when you're doing this typing. And this brings me to the next point. Doing this process actually allows you to feel a little more confident in your own writing. And this is because you're seeing the work of another author at the same level of minute detail that you see your own writing. When you normally read a writer you admire, their work can have this magical quality that makes it seem unreachable and unattainable. However, doing this process brings this almost unattainable work down to earth and it makes you realize all the minute details are things that you could do as well. Okay, so I just finished up the fourth day of copying Game of Thrones, and I'm really enjoying this process so far, to be honest. It's like reading the book, except for you're reading it really closely and noticing all these extra details that you may not have noticed when you were just reading it the first time. Like, I barely remembered this party that Daenerys just went to uh, where she first meets Khal Drogo. I don't know why I forgot it, but it really stood out to me this time because I typed every word. <laughs>
Okay, so I just finished up the fifth day of doing this experiment. But what I actually wanna talk about is something that happened earlier today. First thing in the morning, as always, I was writing my story, but before I did that, I made sure to read over what I'd written from the day before. And when I was looking at that, I realized that it somehow seems to resemble George R. R. Martin's writing style more closely than I think my writing usually does. And I thought that was interesting because I hadn't really expected anything like that to happen. I hadn't really expected to change anything about my writing style. And you know, I'm not really sure if this is actually a change or if I'm just noticing things about my own writing that were already similar to his style of writing beforehand. Because now I'm developing such a fine sense of the way that he writes, it's easier for me to notice those details in my own writing. Maybe that's the case. Maybe my writing is actually shifting a little bit. I don't really know. Otherwise, I've really enjoyed doing this so far and I could see this being a consistent part of my routine because it's literally just me sitting down for an hour and I listen to the music of the TV show while I type things from the book. And it's really enjoyable to read the book so closely, especially because I already really enjoyed it the first time that I was reading it. And it's really cool to see how things were foreshadowed and how certain exposition was delivered early on in this little snippet. So I'm really enjoying this process and I might extend this experiment out even longer. So today I finished the seventh day of me copying a Game of Thrones. Let's get into the results. I copied 72 pages of this book and over 22,000 words. It was a lot. <laughs> but what did I learn? Did I learn to write like George R. R. Martin? Did I pick up elements of his style? I'll get into that in just a second. First, I want to talk about some of the conclusions that I saw while doing this and how I think this was useful. First, copying someone's writing is a great way to understand their style. There are details that you notice when copying somebody's writing that you would never notice if you were just reading it. For example, punctuation. Punctuation is invisible and you barely notice it, even if you're reading really closely. But when you have to type this punctuation, you definitely notice it. <laughs> it is not invisible to you. But punctuation is just one example. There are tons of things that you notice when copying someone's work that you wouldn't notice, even if you were doing the second read and a very close one at that. And another advantage this has over close reading is that it's easier. When you're doing close reading, it's easy to get distracted. Either you get pulled into the story and you stop actually close reading, you're just reading, or you lose track of what you were focusing on. Another benefit it has over close reading is that with close reading, you can really only focus on one thing. You really have to pay attention to a specific thing. But when you're copying everything down, so many things stand out to you. It's not like you have to focus on individual things. You can if you like, but you just notice things generally because you have to write them out. And the second major advantage that I saw when doing this is that it makes another writer's work actually seem attainable. And I think this is because we look at our writing in a different way than we look at reading we're doing. When you're reading, you're letting the author tell you something. You're letting them paint a picture for you. You're paying attention to the story. But when you're writing, you're paying attention to all these little minute details, the word choice, the sentence structure, the punctuation. And because because you're paying attention to it on such a minute level, it's easy to see the flaws in it. And by doing this exercise, by copying another writer's work, you get to see their writing at that minute level, the same level that you see your own writing. And suddenly, it doesn't seem so different from your own writing. It seems far more achievable and attainable to you. Before doing this exercise, I might have been putting George R. R. Martin's writing on a little bit of a pedestal and thinking it was this perfect thing. But when you're reading through, there are things that you realize, maybe I would change this if I was writing it myself. And that's not to insult George R. R. Martin by any means. If I could wake up tomorrow and be writing exactly like him, I'd probably take that deal. So did I learn how to write exactly like George R. R. Martin in just seven days? No. However, I have begun to see elements of his style creeping into my own writing. And maybe this is me reading into it because I've been reading George R. R. Martin's writing so closely, I'm noticing things about my writing that were already similar to it. But given what I've noticed from just seven days of doing this, I actually do think it's plausible. And I've only done this for seven days. I've come nowhere near to finishing the entire book. Maybe I should have picked a shorter book. I mean, at least it's not of Clash of Kings, right? But it's still pretty dang long. <laughs> And because of the changes I've started to see in my own writing, I'm considering doing this for a longer period of time, maybe two weeks or even a month or till I finish the book. I don't know if that'll be quicker than a month. And from what I've seen so far, I don't think you really need to copy out the entire book to see benefit from this technique. 
you could definitely do a more targeted approach. For instance, maybe you're trying to improve your exposition and you think that George R. R. Martin has really nice exposition in A Game of Thrones. So you decide you're gonna skim through and look for passages with exposition that you really like. And after you've gone through and collected your favorite passages, you can go through and copy them word for word. And by focusing specifically on how the exposition is delivered in these passages, you can pick up on details that you wouldn't have noticed if you're reading and that you may not have even noticed by doing a close read. And by copying it down, you have the bonus side effect of the passage being available digitally for easy access. So when you're editing and you have some exposition that you want to improve the delivery of, you can go through the passages that you've copied down and find one that fits and then use it to improve the delivery of your exposition. Next, make sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video so that YouTube knows to show it to other writers like you. And I'm curious, who would you like to write like and what would you like to mimic about their style? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Boom. Boom. Okay. Chill out. <laughs>